What's up guys, my name is Brandon and just about a week after dropping the first beta, Apple returns today on a Tuesday and releases the second developer beta for iOS 11.3. So as you guys know, iOS 11.3 is so highly anticipated and talked about mainly due to the new battery monitoring features. And as you guys know, if you watched my two videos that I did on beta one, these new features were not included in beta one, but we're gonna see in this video if they are here in beta two. So let's not waste any time, let's go ahead and get right into it. So you can see here the size of this update came in at 396.8 megabytes bytes here on my iPhone 8 plus, which of course did come from the first beta. And if we go into our settings, go to general about and look at the build number, you can see the build number is 15E5178F. So of course a long build number as expected. So let's go ahead and take a look at the changes now here in beta two. And the very first feature is going to be the one that we just talked about. And that is going to be the battery monitoring features. We now, if we go into the battery settings right here, you can see we have a whole new toggle right here, a whole new panel, I should say for battery health. And you can see it says it's in beta. If we go ahead and click on this, you can see we have a whole new set of options here. Not really options, but a lot of information that Apple gives you now. So you can see we have maximum capacity. So this shows the capacity of our battery. Mine is currently at 98%. And you can see it also says peak performance capability. And you can see down there, it says your battery is currently supporting normal peak performance. And you can see under maximum capacity, it gives you a little explanation. It says, this is a measure of battery capacity relative to when it was new. Lower capacity may result in fewer hours of usage between charges. So this is pretty much common knowledge for people on my channel, but some people that really don't don't know about iPhones may you know learn something from that and then also up here there's a link where you can click on to learn more basically it's just about the batteries that are in your iPhone so this is definitely a really awesome feature and again it is in beta we do not have a toggle right here for turning off throttling turning on or off throttling so that'll probably come in a later beta and obviously this is still in beta so I'm sure there's gonna be more added to this you know the settings page right here but for now in beta 2 this is what it looks like and it's definitely promising it's really cool that Apple's you know opening up a little bit more about the internals a little bit more about what's going on inside of our iPhones it's you know really good for transparency's sake so i'm really glad they're adding this in with 11.3 and i'm not sure if anybody out there would not like this feature the next new change comes within the app store so if you go into the app store for the first time after installing beta 2 you're going to get a new splash screen right here and it's basically just going to give you a little explanation about the app store and also show you the privacy the new privacy icon right there and then once we're in the app store and we go to the updates page you're going to notice now that we do not have the size of the update you can see we have the size of the update and the uh, version number right there but that's only once you click more now. So before on beta one, it would just show by default, but now you have to click on this little more button right here and sometimes you miss it, but you have to click the little more to show the version number and the size. I'm not a big fan of this. I think it's just one extra step that I'm really not gonna wanna take just to see you know, that small of detail, that small of information. Uh, it was really nice in beta one when it was just there to see but I don't, I really don't like how you have to click on more. You can see I can't even tap on it for this one. So pretty annoying, pretty mad that they did do that. Hopefully they revert it back before the final version of 11.3. And if we go to our messages application, we go to delete a message. You can see down here, we now have an alert that says delete alert message on iCloud with underscores. So you can definitely tell that this is a beta because this would never be pushed out to a public release, a message like that. So definitely Apple, you know, kind of messed up right here. And also people are reporting that it shows this iMessage on iCloud. If you have iMessage, and iCloud disabled. So even if you have it disabled, you'll still get this message. So definitely a fix that's gonna be coming probably in beta three. But for now, if you wanna delete a message, you're gonna to have to look at this ugly text right here. That's pretty much just placeholder text. Also, for some reason, iOS 11.3 beta two does not support the iPod touch sixth generation. Now, Apple said that they will be adding support for it in future betas, but for whatever reason, it's not supported here in beta two. Now, one bug that was pretty annoying in beta one is that Skype would actually crash on launch, or if you got in there and you tried to sign in, it would actually crash right once you signed in but now in beta 2 you can launch it with no issue and sign in with absolutely no issues which is nice for those of you that use Skype another bug in iOS 11.3 beta 1 was the Safari autofill passwords that was given a lot of people issues but that has been fixed here in iOS 11.3 beta 2 so those are pretty much all the new features and changes that I found so far in iOS 11.3 beta 2 after using it for about 30 minutes or so so I'm sure there's other features and changes out there that I haven't noticed yet and I'll definitely be telling you guys about those in a future follow-up video I'll also be talking about the performance and the battery life as well and if it has improved or not over beta one so definitely be on the lookout for that video make sure you have notifications on so you don't miss it but obviously after only using it for about 30 to 45 minutes I haven't noticed any improvement in performance obviously no improvement in battery life yet since it's been such a short amount of time but performance seems about the same as beta one which was actually really good so if you guys installed iOS 11.3 beta 2 let me know down in the comment section down below if you found any other changes also let me know how it's treating you as far as performance and battery life goes but anyways guys that's pretty much it for this video I hope you did enjoy it if you did make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also make sure to subscribe for a lot more iOS 11.3 and future iOS coverage. But thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you soon.